Okay, so we're now uh, moving on to uh, step five um, within the property freedom formula. And we're gonna be talking now about planning. So step five is planning. Uh, this is a really important step in the whole process because you're now at a point where you have found a deal, you've raised money and you're moving forward. The deal stacks up and you're like, wow, we are moving ahead with this deal. So what do you need to do now? Well, it's really important when becoming uh, a property developer that you have an amazing power team uh, within your network. So who do you need in your power team so you can do less, earn more, and then you can focus on your highest key result areas, which may be finding more deals or finding more money. Remembering property, you do not have to do everything yourself. And there is a whole bunch of amazing professional people out there that are gonna do most of the work for you. And what's really important when you go into a property is that you see it as a business and you sit at the top of the tree and then you have your people underneath you all doing the amazing work. So who do you need in your power team? Well, it's really important that you've got a great solicitor uh, that has got experience in with uh, land development or with commercial conversions. It's really important that you've got uh, a great broker that can give you access to commercial and development funding. Really important that you're using a great architect, uh, someone that's gonna maximize uh, the floor space available and give you the best design possible so you can increase the number of units and maximize on your gross development value. You also need a really good planning consultant, uh, someone that can work with the local planning office for you uh, because they know uh, what to do and what things to say. Uh, for example, on, on, on this scheme, and I'm now sitting in one of the lounges where we've built seven flats and two houses, we actually bought this site with planning permission. And what we've been able to do with a planning consultant, uh, we went back to the uh, planners and we were able to increase the footprint, which enabled us to have some larger units. Uh, and we didn't do any of that process. Uh, we just got our planning consultant to do that for us. Uh, you also then need to have a really good estate agent on board if you're gonna be selling the units. Uh, you need to make sure that you've got the right insurances in place and make sure you've got a really good insurance broker. And you can now start to see how all of these other professional people are gonna be putting a lot of the pieces of the puzzle together. And what you've gotta do as the developer is um, keep everyone motivated and make sure that everyone is doing their work correctly. Uh, what's also important in this planning step is to make sure you're up to speed with all of the reg uh, uh, regulations, uh, what you can, what you can't do. Uh, if you're doing a commercial conversion, uh, perhaps you're going to use prior approval for this, which is a planning sanction uh, that was introduced a number of years ago. Uh, really important to know if you're going to be hit with any um, community infrastructure levy or section 106 fees. And again, your planning consultant will help you out with this. And then it's really important to have a program of what's needed and when it's needed. Now, one of the things that we use in our business, and you can use this in your business, is we use a system known as Trello. Um, Asana is also very good, and this is an online platform where you can create checklists, processes, procedures, you can give out tasks to your power team, so everyone in your team knows exactly what they need to do and when they need to do it. And then it is your responsibility as the developer uh, to make sure that people are getting the job done. One of the things that I love about doing bigger deals like land developments, like commercial conversions, is that once you have your team in place, once you have your systems and processes in place, you actually do less and you earn a lot more money. So how does making three, four, five hundred thousand pounds per deal sound to you? 
and how does the idea of doing less and earning more, uh, how does that sound to you as well? For those people that follow our property freedom formula, they achieve and you will achieve fantastic results. Um, it's just a case of um, learning the system and then applying it to your own business and financial freedom is literally just round the corner. You are just one deal away from having something, uh, a life beyond your wildest dreams. Uh, this is why we're very passionate about property. This is why we love doing bigger deals such as land developments and commercial conversions. And one of my key areas is to ensure that we are raising more money so we can do more deals and then ultimately scale and systemize the business. So planning your development is very important. Having the right team in place is very important. Um, you don't have to be good at everything. Uh, I'm certainly not good at, at many, many things, and I focus on the things that I am good at, which enable our business to grow year on, year out. So hope you found um, this uh, training video useful around step five, which is planning. And remember, if we can do it, you can do it. Thanks very much.